You may have heard of the different types of flakes. You've heard of cornflakes, frosted flakes, dandruff flakes, and of course, snowflakes. But you may ask yourself, what is the definition of a snowflake? What do you think, Tommy? Let's talk about snowflakes. If I may go first, in my humble opinion, after hours of research on the internet. A snowflake is defined as a form of precipitation that is either a single ice crystal or an aggregation of ice crystals that fall through the Earth's atmosphere as snow. We are told that no two snowflakes are alike. Therefore, they are all unique and special. I'm pretty sure I'm right about that, but uh, let's see what Tommy thinks. What does it mean to be a snowflake? Well, I'll use my final thoughts tonight to make it crystal clear. If you spend more time occupying Wall Street than you do occupying a shower or a job, you might be a snowflake. If the term white Christmas sounds racist to you, you might be a snowflake. If you think by virtue of you attending college, you should get a high paying job with flexible hours and a month of vacation. If you graduate with a degree in women's studies or philosophy and you think it's unfair you can't find a job, you might be a snowflake. Whoa, <laughs> okay. So I guess to be a snowflake, you have to be white, right? If you threatened to leave the country if Trump was elected but didn't follow through, you might be a snowflake. Nope, no you don't. Oh, there's, a, there's more, okay. If you feel paying back your own loans is an unfair punishment, you might be a snowflake. If you think the nation's horrible history of slavery somehow gives you a pass to resist arrest or assault an officer, you might be a snowflake. If you kneel for the anthem because of your perceived oppression but also don't feel the need to vote, you might be a snowflake. If you spend your days tweeting, chanting, writing, or otherwise announcing Donald Trump is not your president, you are for damn sure a snowflake. If border security seems racist to you, you might be a snowflake. Okay, so that was not the definition of snowflake that I had in mind. If you have never heard of Tommy Lauren before, this is pretty much how all the videos go. The important things to remember are that she has a very good poker face, a sharp tone, and speaks very quickly. By the time you formulated your thoughts, the show's already over and you don't even know what happened. It's quite confusing, yet interesting. So there are a lot of things out there that make you a snowflake, apparently. But I decided to choose the most applicable ones that stood out to me. So let's get started. The ability to wear your sweatpants, your see-through leggings to work, you might be a snowflake. Sweatpants to work. The first question should be, where do you work? If you work at the gym, then sweatpants are fine. But if you work at a law firm, then you should probably go out and buy some dress pants. If a man opening the door for you somehow offends you, you might be a snowflake. Okay, so I never saw this as an issue, but just in case. Ladies, if a man opens a door for you, say thank you. Gentlemen, if a man opens a door for you, say thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, if you're in Canada, a man will definitely open the door for you, and he will say thank you or apologize, depending on what seems better at that time. If others not wanting unvetted Syrian refugees slash ISIS sleeper cells in their backyard offends your politically correct lifestyle, you might be a snowflake. Did you just say Syrian refugees and ISIS sleeper cells are the same thing? Let's get one thing clear. People did not say they wanted unvetted refugees to enter the United States. People said they wanted the country to open the doors for refugees. Vetting will occur regardless. And the USA already has a one to two year vetting process. And if someone did mention that they wanted zero vetting, then that's just unreasonable. The argument should be about how much vetting to do. For example, how much vetting is not enough and how much is too much. Also, people cannot get a job nowadays without a background check. So I'm assuming that should also apply to immigration. And now ISIS. ISIS does not send its representatives as refugees to swim across the sea and then just wait along a border for years with a high risk of death. ISIS sends their people first class. Everybody knows that, right? Just me? Hmm. So if you see anybody coming in first class who might have a darker skin tone, use that border security. If the term radical Muslim is a forbidden description in your vocabulary, you might be a snowflake. The term radical Muslim is not the problem. The problem is the hypocrisy that is associated with that term. No one can deny that there are extremists out there who are so-called Muslims who commit awful crimes. Those people should be and are condemned by Muslims all over the world. The issue is when a non-Muslim commits a crime, such as shooting people in a church or at an airport or bombing abortion clinics, then they are labeled as violent criminals or lone wolves, but they are not referred to as radicals or terrorists. That is the issue. If you think football and MMA are insulting to the arts, you might be a snowflake. Okay, that one I may agree with. So as most of you remember, Meryl Streep gave this inspiring speech about the importance of diversity. But why did she have to insult football and MMA? And I'm pretty sure that's not what she meant to do, it just came out that way, but you know, still. Football's like the national sport of America, after baseball, and MMA is just awesome. 
At the end of the day, it is important to watch and listen to things that challenge your opinion. To burst that bubble we feel safe in and listen to an opposing view. And by the end of it, you may end up still disagreeing with the other person. And guess what? That's okay. I disagree with most of what was said in that video, but at least now I have a better idea of what other people are thinking and why they are thinking that way. Having different views doesn't always make one person smarter and one person dumber. Except if you're arguing about the moon landing and the fact that the earth is round. Wait, wasn't that already settled? No? Science? Anybody? So to all my cornflakes, frosted flakes, and snowflakes out there, Go out and talk to people. Feel offended. It's good for you. It helps build your immune system. Recommended by 8 out of 10 doctors. The other two doctors could not be reached because they were inside their safe little bubble. Life is short. Try to have fun with it. And until the next update, Assalamu Alaikum and peace be with you. If this video gives you a stroke, diarrhea, constipation, internal bleeding, or any abdominal discomfort, ask your doctor if racism is right for you. Ignorance sold separately. Logic not included. And until the next update, Instructions received. Free election? You are a snowflake. <laughs> what is? Are these even snowflakes? I, uh, I I need professional help. From me to you? Yes. Trophies? <laughs> I, I I like trophies. So you're saying to get a trophy, all I have to do is be a precious little snowflake? Done. Meryl Streep. How do you pronounce her name? Man, all this flake talk is starting to make me hungry. Time to eat some cereal.